The students at Dhaka University are letting their hair down. The semester is over. Just a few meters away is the spot where blogger Avijit Roy was murdered in February 2015. The atheist writer was paying a visit to Dhaka's book fair. While walking home with his wife, he was attacked by radical Islamists wielding machetes. Roy's father is heartbroken. Ajao Roy is a retired professor of physics and a human rights activist. His son Avijit was one of five secular bloggers murdered in 2015. Three years later, none of his killers has been convicted. Avijit Roy's father lays the greatest share of the blame with the government. Politically, Bangladesh is being mismanaged by the leaders. We have it, it created a culture of non-punishment. If this continues, Bangladesh will be a very anarchic state. The country has been governed by Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's Awami League since 2009. Once, the ruling party stood for liberal values and the clear separation of state and religion. Nowadays, it seems to show more sympathy to the murderers than the bloggers. This is a preponderantly Muslim country, overwhelmingly. And some of them are very superstitious or extremely religious. So when you distort the Quran, which is a holy book, and comment on the life of the Prophet, some people are incensed. They lose their balance. That's how the bloggers, they, they brought it on themselves. The government claims to pursue a policy of zero tolerance against militancy, while Islamists are becoming increasingly assertive. Their madrasas are considered by many civil society activists to be breeding grounds of fundamentalism. Mufti Faisullah teaches Islamic Sharia law at the Quran school of Lalbagh Mosque in Dhaka and has repeatedly been accused of hate speech. In this video, he calls for the death penalty of a politician who dared to criticize pilgrimages to Mecca. Mufti Faisullah denies the charge that speeches like this are an incitement to violence. In Islam, our dearest are Allah and the Prophet. If you insult or abuse them, our hearts bleed. So what should you do if you are hurt? Do you pick up a weapon? No. Islam does not permit that. But when it comes to those who hurt you and make your heart bleed, at least you can ask for their punishment. Not only atheist bloggers, but also artists and people of different faiths have been under pressure in Bangladesh. In early March, there was yet another targeted attack against a renowned writer and eminent scientist. The motive of the young perpetrator, he saw his victim as an enemy of Islam.